particular skill is testing blood glucose levels. Uh, so generally this would be for an individual that might have type 1 diabetes. So you want to make sure that either periodically throughout the day or even throughout practice uh, you have the ability to measure them. Uh, generally speaking, uh, a normal or a uh, regular blood glucose reading um, is uh, right at about 100. Um, uh, I think it's milligrams per deciliter. And uh, so anything that's below 50 can be problematic. Anything above 150 can be problematic. Uh, so getting a good uh, reading right around 100 is, um, again, fairly normal. Uh, most time, people that have type 1 diabetics have done this over and over and over again. So you're not really teaching them how to do this for the first time. But it's possible that they might be in a difficult situation where they can't quite do it on their own. And you're going to actually be able to do this for them. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate it on myself. Uh, so one of the things that um, I would do in a normal situation is place uh, both uh, gloves on both hands, but uh, I definitely need to have access um, to be able to get the reading um, on the other hand. So one of the things that would be helpful to do is to just make sure that you disinfect the area to make sure that there's no dirt, grime, germs um, over the particular area that you're going to do. So I'm just using an alcohol swab to be able to clean um, that particular area. So now what I need to actually do is I need to draw um, a small amount of blood to be able to get my reading. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take uh, the blood glucose meter and then I'm gonna slide the test strip directly in so that way it's all set and ready to go. I'm gonna wait for it to kind of read that. It has a mark on here that says it's ready for blood. So hopefully I can get this done uh, quick enough to be able to take care of that. This is a single use lancet. So there's a needle that's actually gonna come pushing um, out of the finger. Ideally you wanna do it at the side of the finger so that way when if they need to use their fingertips, they certainly can. So I'm gonna take this and push it in. And that is going to give me a small amount of blood. And then what I can do is I can take and I can place this very tip right onto here so it draws blood up and in. And you can see that it is starting to read. Generally it doesn't take too terribly long, but it's giving me a reading of 79. Uh, this time of day I have not had um, a lot to eat uh, for like the last four or five hours. Um, so I'm reading actually a little bit low on blood, blood sugar. So if I had a quick uh, snack, some sugar, that would definitely um, ele elevate my blood uh, glucose levels. Uh, once you're done, you wanna make sure that you handle this uh, blood borne uh, uh, or biohazard appropriately. So I've got some gauze. I might place a Band-Aid on my finger. Make sure that you place the uh, um, strip in a biohazard container, again, with any other um, biohazard waste that you might have. So one of the things that I can do is I can just pull this off, I can take my gloves off, and I can dispose of that um, in a container.